Now, I'm no massive political tactician. However, uh, this move by Richard Tice in blocking Tommy Robinson on social media, X in particular, is quite a stupid move. Now, regardless of what you think about Tommy Robinson, the guy has a massive, massive following. And those following him are as disillusioned with the top two political parties having a monopoly on government as the rest of us. We are fed up with the Conservatives and Labour taking turns in raping this country. One destroys it, the other one says it'll fix it, then destroys it, then the other one says it'll fix it, but instead destroys it. And it's a vicious circle. We're fed up with it. The people simply don't trust, well, decent people anyway, uh, the Tories and Labour anymore. And uh, there's too much common sense in the country to vote in the Lib Dems. Now, if Richard Tice was a serious player in this game he wouldn't have blocked Tommy Robinson Tommy Robinson showed this on his Twitter account and I thought my god what a stupid guy what a stupid move by Richard Tice because he and the Reform Party could definitely do with that voter base and it's huge I believe which leads me to think that the guy simply doesn't know what's going on or <laughs> doesn't know what he's doing and why block him in the first place there was no public spat on social media between Richard Tice and Tommy Robinson anyway. Unless, of course, he was told to do it, and by who? Which leads me to further believe that Richard Tice does as he's told. I mean, I've got no faith in the guy anyway. Ever since his stance on lockdown and the jab, and his support of Zelensky, and I don't really trust his other half either, Elizabeth Oakenshot or Oakenshield, whatever her name is. So why the hell would people want to vote in Richard Tice, a guy who isn't quite in touch with the public and blocks Tommy Robinson for no reason. I mean, the country is desperate for an alternative uh, from the Tories and Labour, and at the moment, by doing stuff like this, I don't think Richard Tice is trustable. I mean, he also lied about Steve Laws' membership, and that was on camera. Now, I think the only way reform are going to be taken seriously by the voters, who desperately need change uh, and an alternative and that has to be the return of Nigel Farage to frontline politics and to take charge of reform and take over from Richard Tice, who clearly doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, honestly, what a stupid, stupid move that was. And there we go. That's my video. I hope you like. Please remember to subscribe, share my stuff everywhere. Until the next time, Roger Trout.